Hey class, so for this exercise, we're going to add a reference image into our front viewport panel. So go to view, image plane, and import image, and um, use the hot air balloon reference image. There you go. And just scale that up. You can manipulate it like any other object in your scene. I'm just kind of zooming out. It's good to scale this quite large so that you can see. Then we're going to create a sphere and look at your options and a radius of one, 20 axis divisions and 10 height divisions works out well. I'm going to scale this up and then just kind of move it into place over the balloon. And going to use x-ray shading so that we can see our um, reference image as well. Now I'm going to select by edges and just scale these edges. So if you double click the edges, you are selecting the entire edge loop. And instead of using the right hand scale, the one direction scale, the red scale, I'm using that center scale that scales in both directions. Otherwise you're gonna have a, a hot air balloon that's correct in one direction, but not the other. And it's gonna look super weird. So make sure you're using the yellow box in the middle. Okay, so I'm just selecting these bottom faces and then actually deleting them. This the hotter balloon is open anyway. So again, scaling with that yellow box in the center, and then I can move these edges up as well. Double clicking to select these using the scale tool and then um, using the move tool, which is W to move them up. And just kind of, um, adjusting these to make them look more like my reference image. Okay, now we can select by object and um, go to our perspective view. And here I'm going to be selecting every other edge all the way around. So just double clicking. And because this is a sphere, it's only gonna do like half of the edge. So we gotta go all the way around and select every other one. So this hot air balloon is a really great exercise to keep practicing these selection skills and moving skills, and also our scaling skills. So um, here we're gonna scale by two directions. So that's that floating um, square out on the right, rather than the one directions or the multi-direction. So make sure you're scaling by two, otherwise you're gonna get some jagged edges at the top and bottom. Now I pressed three to do smooth preview, and now you can see the balloon is really coming into place. Um, when I press three for smooth preview, I lost a lot of volume, so I'm just gonna go back and scale a little more. So double click and um, to select the entire edge loop and then go back and scale. And now you can see this is really looking good, like a hot air balloon. Okay, so now I'm gonna make that basket. So that's just a cube with the top face extruded in. Um, so we're gonna have to do a bit of an extrude offset and then an extrude in. So let's check that out. Oh, before that, just do a quick bevel on all the edges like 0.1, and you could do two segments. I think that would probably be a lot nicer, but that's okay. I think I was keeping this simple when I was doing this tutorial at first. Okay, so now select that top face, and you can do an extrude offset just a little bit to give some thickness, and then we're gonna extrude this face inside the basket. So do the first extrude offset and then make sure you're extruding again to get this interior. So that's two extrudes. I am duplicating this cube and I'm gonna use this as kind of like a template for that cage part that is above my basket. I'm just gonna delete all these extra faces that I don't need. So all this random stuff in the middle and on the outside. There we go. And so that's kind of looking like that cage that we can see. Okay, 
I'm gonna select these top vertices and just scale them in to get that taper that the cage seems to have and kind of scale it down a little bit. There we go. And move this into place. And if you want this cage, you're totally welcome to have it. If you want just like more of a simple basket, then that's fine too. And I'm just putting my reference image on a empty layer and then turning off the visibility. So now I'm just looking at my balloon. And then finally, I'm gonna start making some like super simple um, cables out of just a cylinder. So you can see when I scaled with the box, um, it does two directions. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the green box. And then I'm just positioning these so that they line up with the top. So the pivot point of this cylinder is in the middle. If you did add more multi-cuts to these cylinders, like a crossways, um, then you could actually make these bend because there's no um, divisions right now. Um, it's just gonna be kind of a straight line. So you could definitely add some like horizontal divisions. Okay, so now that I made one, I'm just going to go to my side view and rotate it into position and just make both of these um, there we go and I can kind of move both of them at once and then duplicate over and rotate the opposite way for the other side and so this is just um, just real quick, easy way of rotating these. You wanna make sure that they make sense with rotation. I think, um, yeah, going to this side view and making sure that they rotate out makes a lot of sense. So just, there we go. And the good thing with this side view is that you can just kind of make any adjustments you need to the positioning. Um, I think in the picture, this wasn't connected. So if you want to create a connection, go for it. That would be cool too. If you wanted to add stitching or any sharper um, changes of direction for the balloon, just add a few more multi-cuts near the existing lines. But otherwise, you're good to go. Here's your hot air balloon.